going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we'll be taking a look at the transformers legacy evolution tarn so stick around if you want to know more about evolution tarn <laughs> So here we have Legacy Evolution Tarn out of his box. His box is just your standard Legacy Transformers box. You got the cool art on the front of his alt mode. And on the side, you've just got some more art of his robot mode. And then on the back, you've got just your basic product shots and stuff. Um, then on the other side, you just got the whole Legacy Evolution art, which I find pretty cool. The box is cool and all, but the real cool thing is obviously the figure, Tarn. I think this is probably one of Hasbro's best attempts at a legacy figure or just Tarn in general. I honestly kind of come to think of it, I don't think they've ever attempted a Tarn figure. We haven't ever actually gotten a posable, transformable Tarn before. So I'm quite glad that in the legacy line we get this one. So um, as you can see on the detail of this figure, he's got a lot of it. He's very just comic book influence, which of course, you know, on the box it says, comic universe so i guess that's kind of a sign that hasbro is going to bring some characters from transformers prime transformers netflix series and all these different series and kind of mix them all into this legacy series which i find quite cool because tarn i didn't even know existed until this figure came out and once i did some research he is now my new favorite decepticon he is really really cool so i'm quite glad that we finally got him now, as far as articulation goes, this figure has a lot of articulation. Probably one of the most articulated figures so far in the Legacy line, believe it or not. So, up here, you've got his shoulder joint. You can go out. You can't really do much in, obviously, because of the tread there. And it can go do a full roundabout there on his shoulder joint. Uh, he's got bicep movement, and it can move kind of like that. I don't really know how to describe that. Um, yeah, so you get kind of the basic arm movement, but something cool that they've added is not only wrist rotation, um, you can actually open his fist, which is something you don't see a lot on mainline Transformers, but on this one, you get an opening fist, which I find quite cool. Um, yeah. Then on the head, it's just on a ball joint, and you can move it all the way around if you want. Don't know why you want to do that, but you can. <laughs> you can look up. You can't really look down that much. That's all right. And he's got waist rotation. He can't really go all the way around. You can move this, I guess, if you want. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I'm not going to do it, but yeah. He's got just the basic waist rotation that you need to get into some good poses. Then on his leg, you can go all the way out that far and back up out that far. You may do the splits if you want. And of course, he's got knee rotation. You can bend right there. And you get ankle tilt forward and not really back, but yeah. Well, yeah, yes you do. Just like that, so quite a bit of articulation. You can get into some really dynamic poses. And I've really enjoyed just posing this figure around. He's really fun to just kind of mess with and pose around a lot, even if you don't really intend to display this. So that's pretty much it for Tarn's robot mode. Um, his alt mode is, of course, a tank, as I've previously mentioned, and if you couldn't already tell by the treads on his shoulders. But, um, yeah, basically, in order to transform this guy, you basically just kind of need to move his shoulders around a little bit, pop the chest out, and fold his legs. That's literally it. So, it's a pretty simple transformation, and I have fun doing it every time. And, of course, the end result, actually, is um, quite nice. I, I didn't expect that this figure would be able to kind of have a flat, nice, smooth tank mode, but they sure did achieve it on this figure and that's quite impressive um, this figure is definitely something I would recommend picking up he is really really awesome he's got like no kill on him and his alt mode and robot mode are super slim I just, I just I love that about this figure usually mainline Hasbro figures are just caked with kibble and just random stuff that don't make them look good but this figure I can't even tell he transforms in fact it almost looks like a third-party masterpiece so very impressive as for size comparison, here he is next to the Legacy Laser Optimus Prime. And then here he is next to the Legacy Blaster. And just for fun, here he is next to the Earthrise Runabout. Tarn here is a Voyager, so he's going to scale kind of in between your um, leader class figures and you know, obviously your Voyagers and stuff. So he's a pretty tall figure. Um, as you saw with Laser Prime, which is a leader class, he scales pretty well. Laser Prime's just a hair taller, but not that much, so he looks pretty good. As far as accessories go, you get three. You get two fusion cannons and a little connector piece. 
Uh, now the two fusion cannons, believe it or not, are actually not the same. One's a little bit more blocky and the other one's a little bit more kind of rounded off around the edges. And uh, that's fine, it's not my favorite kind of design thing that they went with, but it works, I guess. Um, now your little attachment piece doesn't look like much, but if you want to have it, you know, there's little laser cannons uh, in this robot mode, this piece is quite important. You uh, basically attach the guns on either point of the connector, and you can either stick that on his arms or his back even. And then, of course, when you transform him, you can stick it on his legs or just the top of the tank mode to give him uh, a turret. Something cool you can do with this figure is if you have a Kingdom Slammer, you can take Slammer's treads and take him over to your Slammer and put one of his treads in his hand and make it look like a chainsword almost, which I don't, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that was a weapon Tarn used. So that's a pretty cool thing I just like to do and display. I happen to have an extra... Uh, slammer so this just works out I can display it while also having a slammer so if you can get yourself a slammer and a tarn do this it looks really cool in my opinion this figure is by far the most detailed legacy figure that has been released yet like seriously he's amazing everything down to the paint scheme the just overall accuracy to the comics everything he's, he's just awesome I've always loved this character. I mean, I really only recently found out, but I've always just loved the fact that he, his head is literally the Decepticon emblem that just shows how loyal of a Decepticon he is. And I've not read any of the comic books, which is where this guy's from, but what I've read is basically he is the leader of uh, the DJD. I apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong or saying that wrong, but uh, basically they're just uh, Decepticon assassins that go after uh, traitors and torture them, basically, which is terrible but at the same time that is just a really cool character design and just whoever came up with this overall character is amazing i, I just love every part of it and if you can ever find this figure get him he's amazing perfect figure just everything is perfect on this guy. So that about does it for the Transformers Legacy Evolution Tarn Review. I hope you found this video somewhat informative, and if it did, please consider liking and subscribing as it helps me out a lot. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.